Hi everyone, I am Rick Zanotti with Tech Down Over, and this is the final one in our quick series of face auto focus tracking. So what we're doing here, this time we're shooting with the Canon XF405, and we own this camera, it's not on loan to us. So we have already shot with the Sony uh, HXR, or H, what is it, HR. X, HXR. HXR, sorry. Uh, the Sony HXR NX80, that's the one we did yesterday. Uh, that is also a very similar camera to this one. It's a 4K camcorder. So this, it would probably be a very good competitor with the XF405, or more really the 400, because 405 has an SDI input, but other than that, it's exactly the same as the 400. So we are now just kind of, as I move around, my focus should be kept on me. It shouldn't really be moving too much. Now there is one big difference between Canon and everyone else, and that's Canon doesn't offer a lot of autofocus points, and I can't remember what it is on this, but it's more than 50, I think. So I'm gonna just turn around and look back. I'm trying to see if we ever get out of focus with it. So now I'm looking through a window. And move out, move back in, move out, in, there. I feel like the Pink Panther. And it's out. So, how do we do on autofocus so far? Looks pretty good. It's handling it? Okay, let's go outside. Let's really put the camera to the test. So we're gonna go outside where it's probably a little bit sunny. It's, and so as we come out here, this is one of the first tests we do. I stand here and this is pretty backlit. Let's see how this sensor does. Now we're using a Canon sensor versus Sony sensors. Uh, the three previous tests of the Sony A9, the Panasonic GH5, the Sony NX80 camcorder, and now this one, three of them were Sony chips. Uh, though the GH5 is not backlit, whereas the other two were, this one is not backlit either. How are we looking? Pretty good. Pretty good? There's a little bit of light bleeding on Okay, so now we're going to head outside. It's pretty darn bright out here. At least part of it is really bright. So as I just walk and let's see how, how it keeps track of me as I'm just walking backwards. Tell me when we lose the focus. Right about there. Okay, so we lost it probably about 30 feet maybe? About here? I'm in a little closer. Now it's got you again. So not that far. We're talking probably maybe 20 feet max. So that's where autofocus kicks back in. As I move around, let's go this way. Now I'm going to go towards the sun. And let's see how the neutral density works here. I'm just going to stand here. So how's the neutral density working? Pretty well, you're still burned out. Still burned out? Are we at the highest? Yeah. So I'm burned out to the highest level. It's pretty bright right here. Um, car is coming by now. So let's see where the focus went. It kept on your face. It did, okay. They're getting better. Now we're in the shade, so we probably don't need as much ND. So we're going to do our edge test. So on the edge test, we want to see where it focuses. Canon is notorious for having everything in the center and not putting focus points on either side. So let's see. Right now it does not have your face. Should I come closer? No, we're not that far from each other. So I'm not in focus right now. How about now? Is, are you still on ND? Yeah. Oh, take them off. It's probably too much. Probably too dark. Because uh, we're pretty. I took it off and it still doesn't have. It. Still doesn't have the uh, press. Really, no focus going on. It's focusing on the back. Interesting. So, and we're still on face focus. Now it's got you. Now it's got. Oh, I had to get literally about less than ten feet away. Okay, that's a ding on the cannon. So I'm going to move backwards. Are we still in focus? Nope. They lost it again. <laughs> back here. There. Okay. This is the closest we've ever had to come. Usually we're about 20 feet on this. So we are, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, Less than 10. All right, edge. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So I'm still in the edge. It lost focus, but you're still in frame. I'm still in frame here? Yeah. It's pretty wide. At wide. You're out. So it's pretty wide. Okay, focus. Tell me when I'm in focus. Now it's got you. Okay, so we lost a part of the screen there. I'm going to go this way. And still in focus here? Uh, no, it's lost. It lost left. the focus and I'm out of frame, right? Yeah. I'm back in, out of focus. Yep. In focus. In focus. We're, it's we're, a similar size to the GH5. Yeah, but we're losing a good third, I think, on this one. And look how close I have to get. Mm -hmm. So I literally have to be within 10 feet. I don't know why. Let's change to where we're better lit here. So let's turn around this way. I'm going to come into the light so you can do the uh, neutral density. So am I in focus here? Yes. Now, how about if I move back more? Yes. Still focus? Yeah. Yeah, it lost you. So it lost me a little close. So how about here? Still lost. Now it's got you. Okay. So this is poorer than the other cameras we've done so far. So I'm going to get to the side. Still in frame? Yes. In focus? Uh, yes. It's lost you and you're out of frame. Now. Okay, so I'm out of frame. In frame, in focus. In focus. So I'm going to go the other way. I was just testing to see if the daylight affected. Out of focus, in frame. Okay. Out of frame. Out of frame. Come in. In frame, out of focus. Okay. This is actually rather poor. I'm a little disappointed because we're very close right now. We're, we're less than 10 feet and it's letting me go pretty far. But so I would say, again, it's mostly in the center area because at this width, are we zoomed in? No. So we, we're on wide and it needs me close and it needs me not moving too far from that center. So. What we've got going is definitely interesting. Jet planes coming. We are on the flight path to Point Magoo Air Naval Base, as well as the Camarillo Airport. And you can hear a jet coming in. And I think that's probably military. We see some big planes coming in here. So anyway, let's go back in. I think so far this camera is not doing as well as any of the other ones we've done. We'll have to talk about that. Okay, Harold's heading back in. Now we're going to see if we can distract the autofocus here in the front. So this is what we've done with all of them, pretty much. Um, so I'm going to bring up... Do you see focus? Yes. Box is on? It's on the side of your face. <laughs> Here? Now it's got your face. Okay. Hand. It's still got your face. Hand. It hasn't lost it. Hasn't lost it. Did it ever lose it on that one? Nope. Nope. No. The box is wiggling when you're It's wiggling. In front of your it's dancing. <laughs> okay. Actually tracked your face the, the whole time. The whole time. So it even sort of figured, okay. Yeah. Um, trying to distract it. It lost it a few times. Though. It did. Okay. Um, all right. Let's head back indoors. The, um, and these are off, right? Yes. Okay. So we're heading back indoors. Still focusing? If I walk too fast, that thing's going to get out of focus, I think. It doesn't seem to focus as far away as some of the other ones. It lost me. Okay, come on back this way. So as soon as I got past, I was, I'm like 40 feet now. Couldn't do it. But most of them only do about 20, 25. So I'm going to head into our studio right now. 
and we are here so so I would say this has been an interesting test it outside it definitely did worse than all of the three other cameras the GH5 and the A9 probably did the best with the NX80 not far behind the GH5. Not as good as the Sony, though it did catch focus quickly. Would you say this is quick at get getting focus? It's actually pretty quick. So it gets focused pretty quickly, but it doesn't always know what to do with it. Outdoors, we had to be a lot closer for it to keep focus. Uh, that was a little surprising. Usually outdoors with more light, they, they seem to hold on to you a little bit better, not this one. Um, got a little more distracted when I was moving hands. It was leaving a little bit. It was, it was coming back quickly, but it was leaving. The other ones were rock solid. None of them really left. So very interesting. This is the Canon XF 405. And this is our 4K test of auto face tracking. And we will compare this later on to the other cameras. But right now it seems that the Canon came in last. Um, at least that's from what I'm seeing or talking about. Uh, with Harold. So our test. Ford Tech Down Over. You can take a look at all of the other videos. We'll have them listed below. Actually, we'll probably create a new video with all of them either linked together or we'll list them all somewhere. But you can see four top cameras out there, top camcorders, and how they handle autofocus face tracking, not to mention light differences and stuff. I'm Rick Zanotti. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.